welcome back friends we are talking about biology problems and this is another one of my favorite biology problems that i am going to talk about now these are very simple problems very easy one but it relies on one simple fact that you need to know so let's look at it that dna content of a diploid cell in g1 phase of the cell cycle is measured to be x so the value let's say x number x then the dna content of the same cell at the metaphase of meiosis 1 and also the metaphase of meiosis 2 would be right so that is the question they have told us that the normally in the g1 phase so the so so the information that they provided is the g1 phase so dna content in the g1 phase is x so what will be this content in meiosis 1 metaphase and meiosis 2 metaphase what will be the content that is the question now uh, in this case the only thing you need to know to answer this question you know is the meiosis cell division and how the meiosis cell cell division works i mean how the segregation of chromosome works in meiosis cell division once you know that it is it will become very very easy for you you know in interphase g1 phase means it is in interphase so whatever number is present in the interphase will be doubled right because you know g1 is the very beginning of the phase because in the interphase there are g1 phase and g2 s is a phase called synthesis because at this particular stage dna duplication or replication takes place right so we are talking about g1 here so if x is the number of chromosome present in g1 it should be doubled once it is passing through the s phase because it will be doubled in the s phase so during any metaphase condition the number of chromosome present in g1 will be doubled right so the number very easy to construct that the number in meiosis 1 metaphase will be 2x right now if it is a mitosis it will also be 2x because in whatever number of chromosome you present in g1 phase it will be double during entering into prophase metaphase or whatever right even after before the even before the prophase the number of chromosome will be double because it will be duplicated in the s phase which is just right next to you know g1 phase right so it will be true now you need to know the meiosis phase there is meiosis have two different states one is meiosis 1 another one is meiosis 2 because in meiosis cell division it is slightly unique to produce half number of chromosome containing cells because in meiosis after meiosis what we need to have we need to have four cells from particular one 2n it will be divided into you know n number of cells from 2n because we are making the number of chromosome half after the meiosis is complete so in meiosis there are two part in meiosis you know there are meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 what happens in meiosis 1 is segregation of each of those chromosomes not from the kinetochore remember in meiosis 1 there is no segregation from the kinetochore of sister chromatids the only segregation occurs are from the homologous pairs so from the homologous pair they are segregated but in meiosis 2 the segregation occurs from the kinetochore of the sister chromatids that is the most important point so meiosis 2 is just like mitosis but meiosis 1 is completely unique right so in meiosis 1 they will be segregated the homologous pair of those uh, you know uh, pair of chromosome will be segregated and in meiosis 2 the sister chromatids will be segregated so in this case whatever number of chromosome we have before entering into the meiosis one process after the meiosis one the number number reduced by half that is the rule right so in this case if we have 2x number of chromosome in meiosis one as it is migrating through and passes through the meiosis one it will be converted into x number of chromosome so once it is in meiosis two metaphase that number of chromosome remains x because in mitosis in meiosis 2 the division is simply just like mitosis division no other segregation from the homologous pairs because the only segregation from sister chromatids it remains the number as it is that is the x which was previously before 
right? So in this case, what we know is that in meiosis one metaphase it will be two x, and in meiosis two metaphase it will be x. So here we go, option B that is telling us the two x and x, and that is the correct answer for this question.